What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom burn effect on top of your footage. Let's get into it. So to make your life a lot easier, you're going to need some kind of footage to overlay the stuff on and work on top of. I just have a shot of the FX6 camera I own. Uh, just because it's some kind of moving shot, it'll give us something to work with. So what we're going to need is we are going to need a fusion composition. So to get that over here on the left, you have toolbox. We're going to click that down. We're going to go down here to effects and we're going to grab a either adjustment clip or a fusion clip. You'll know that either will work because it has the little stars. I'm going to grab a fusion composition, drop it in here, and I'm going to make it just about there. That way it's a little over two seconds. We don't need this to be insanely long. Now we need to jump inside Fusion. You can find the button here at the bottom. We're gonna bring our media out over. You can see nothing's going on because we have nothing yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Shift Spacebar. It's gonna bring up our Select Toolbox and I am going to look for Fast Noise. We're gonna click that right here. We are gonna add that, drop it in here, connect it to our media out. Now this is where majority of this is going to take place. However, you really can just kind of fine tune these however you want on your own. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of fine tuning that to what I think looks good. You have a whole bunch of different selections in here. You got detail, contrast, brightness, scale, angle, seeth, seeth rate. Uh, the seeth, what it does is it's basically the moving of the noise. Uh, the seeth rate depends on how fast you want it to go. So if I played it, it's going really fast. If I brought the seeth rate all the way down, it's going to basically not move at all. So we want a little bit of movement, but not much. Now, because we're going for a light leak burn, uh, I do not want the detail turned all the way up because then it starts to kind of look like smoke noise and that's not really what we're going for. So I'm going to leave my detail a little bit lower. I feel like that's pretty good. I am going to turn the brightness up a little bit and I am going to scale it up a little bit. Let me play that through, see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't hate that. I might turn the rate up just a little bit. Let me go back over here. It's not bad. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Play that through. Yeah. I like the speed of that. Now, before we go any further with this tutorial, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is Motion Array. With over 80,000 assets, plus they're adding more what seems like every day, Motion Array has got you covered. Whether you're needing video graphics, overlays, titles, transitions, sound effects, stock videos, to put it simply, Motion Array is the one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys are wanting to check out Motion Array. Make sure you use that link because it'll get you $50 off when you sign up for motion array thanks so much for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me let's get back to the tutorial again you do not have to follow these exact numbers just play around in here until you find something you like because each clip is going to determine something different now i'm going to go into the color tab and we are going to add some color to it what we want to do is we want to shut these colors off so i'm going to bring them all down i'm going to go ahead and flip these two colors and drop this down because i think what i want is the opposite of these. So I'm gonna do that and play that through. That looks better. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna make this glow a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on my fast noise node. I'm gonna hit shift space bar again. It's gonna bring up our toolbar one more time. We're gonna look for glow. We're gonna add that. And in here we can also mess with some parameters. I'm gonna turn the glow size up a little bit. I'm gonna turn the glow actually up a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I can dig that. And what we're gonna do is hop back in our editor right here. We're gonna let that render out just a little bit. We need to change the composite mode over here to add. Let that render, hit play, watch it through, and you've got a nice little burn on top of your image. I think that looks pretty solid. Again, if you don't like it, you can always turn down the opacity. Maybe it's a little too much for you, which in my case, it is slightly too much. I think that's a little better. And again, we can always go back inside of it and we could change the color. If we decide blue is just maybe not the right color, maybe we want this to be a little bit more white. We can go right there, add that, hop back in the editing tab, play that through. And I actually think that looks a lot better. It looks more natural to the video clip itself. 
A quick tip for you guys, if you're wanting to export these out and use them and not have to recreate them, I would not fade it out. I would let it just finish the video clip. I would move this over. I would change this back to normal. You could hop over to the deliver tab. We could set an out point right here. We're gonna change this to ProRes so it's a little bit higher quality. We're gonna add it to render, render it out real quick. Then we can hop back into our editor, move this out of the way. Bring that in here, same thing. It's just right on top of it, just like that. We'll fade it out at the end, just like we did. Change it to add again. And now you have a burn that you can reuse over and over and over again. That's how you create a custom burn effect on top of your footage. Definitely use that extra tip at the end to create as many as you would like, and then you can store them and have them ready to go for any of your footage down the road. If you like this video and you learned something new, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know some other tutorials you were wanting to see. If you're new here, consider subscribing, ringing the bell. You're amazing. I'm Aaron Giant. See you next time. Peace.